Welcome to another episode with the Funky Farmer. Let's start by looking at a dead animal. Lovely. Right, let's turn this off. As you probably gathered, I'm on the hedge trimmer. I'm always on the hedge trimmer this time of year. Right, let's get out. I just spotted something here. Um, and I thought we'd just have a little examination. So if you're eating your breakfast or your lunch or your tea and you're a bit sensitive to something, you might want to turn away. It's not that graphic, it's just, it's just dead. Right, you ready? I'm gonna spin it around. There's the hedge trimmer, that's not dead. It's dead and alive, depending whether I press the buttons right. Right, Whoop, boom. Right, so what we got here Oh, it's a bit whiffy, I can smell it. It's a dead buzzard. Now let's have a look. Look at the wingspan. Look at that. It's been been around a while because it's pretty whiffy, I can smell it. Look at the span on that. You don't get to see these birds close up normally because they're away. God look, there's there's my welly for scale. So that's two foot. I mean it's nearly if I spread that right out. That's probably three foot, nearly. One, two, three foot. Wow, I could, you could class that as a meter. I'll just, oh, look at, let's just have a look at its talons. Oh my goodness me, look at those. Look at those bad boys. Can you see that? Look at those, oh my goodness, four. Look at them. Wow. They're really long, aren't they? They're like an inch long. I'll right, just chuck that in the hedge. Oof. Um, don't know what that's died of. Possibly bird flu. Uh, I mean, you do see dead stuff around the farm this time of year, any time of year, really. In the summer, I think it disappears a lot quicker because of maggots and stuff. Um, last year, or a couple of years ago, it was dead heron, do you remember? Um, dead buzzard there. Um, things naturally die, don't they? But, uh, I assume you might think I'm a bit weird having a look at that close up. But at the end of the day, how often do you get that close to look at a buzzard? Those talons, blimey. Uh, no wonder they can take stuff, because in just a case of them uh, sort of like pouncing on something to grab it like a baby rabbit or a pheasant or something is actually you can see that they're really sharp and they would dig into the flesh and then of course they use their tongues or, or their beaks to rip stuff apart with those talons blimey i uh, I'm, I'm quite surprised at that i mean i know enough about wildlife to see stuff like that but i haven't really looked at them close up that's just um quite a thing isn't it and uh, you have too many of those about <laughs> the wildlife around it is going to get pretty decimated isn't it um, I mean, I think we used to be controlled by the Victorians and stuff who used to shoot them, but I don't think no one does that now. Probably because in those days you were, they were competing against your own food because people would be getting rabbits and things like that. Whereas now I think people are just sort of like, hmm, don't eat rabbit, go to Tesco's and buy it. Um, but yeah, so when I was a kid, I don't remember any buzzards around here, but now they're everywhere. Still haven't seen a red kite around the farm. I, I hear they're at Wootton Under Edge, which is not that far away not seen one around here unless unless they're here and i've not realized what is there um you know because because i'm not particularly familiar with them but i think they've got a, a v fork on the tail i think i think because they'd be unusual i think if i saw one i would be like whoa there's a red kite um but i'm sure one day hopefully we'll get a little video of that right i'm going to crack on with this we'll have a look later i might be going up james's furlong later i'm not quite sure um but anyway, for now, I'm going to carry on. See what other dead wildlife I can find you if I can. I know. It's a bit better, a bit better than uh, my singing. Which would you rather have? See another dead animal or the funky farmer sings the Beatles? Don't answer that because I know you'd probably rather see the dead animal. All right, cracking on slowly on that.
Uh, Houston, Houston, we have a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem with the tractor. I've lost my exhaust. Oh my God. I've lost the top of my exhaust in the field. Can you see that? Look. We'll get out in a minute and have a look if I can find the flipping thing. So what's happened is, what happened was, I, what happened was, into my Beth Jeffro voice, so I was just coming back along from doing this bit of head trim, I was going to get some diesel, and I just noticed the flipping exhaust is missing. It's hard to spot it because look, can you see the exhaust is exactly lined up with that pillar? So obviously that was a design so that the, the exhaust didn't block your view. However, when it fell off, I didn't notice because I couldn't see it. So basically the top bit of the exhaust is a, is a separate unit. And you might remember last year it fell off and I put it back on, but the pipe is really worn. So what I've got to do is I've got to drive down here where I'm going to drive first of all. I'm hoping if I can just lap, lap the field, I can see a flipping exhaust pipe on the floor. But of course, the next stage, if I can't see it when I'm driving around, is I'm gonna have to I'm actually gonna have to walk the field. Uh, and the worst thing is the worst thing is I might have driven over it and squashed it into the ground and that would be a real pain because obviously I'm not gonna spot it then am I? And also I don't exactly know where it is in this field. Oh not quite a needle in the haystack, but it's a flipping exhaust pipe in a field, which isn't the best thing to find, is it? Though you just see black pipe down there somewhere. I'm hoping it's really obvious. You know? Who knows? If it was yellow or something, it would be alright. Perhaps I should have painted it yellow because it's probably going to fall off again. I'll have a look in a bit when I, when I find it. Um, really what I need to do is get that chap back, uh, Ryan, who did the welding on the bolt bin. I need to get him to weld a new bit of pipe for it to clamp onto. Because what it is, the old bit on top of the exhaust pipe is all crumpled up like that. He's had it. And uh, it won't, the pipe won't grip. I knew it's loose, so I probably should have just taken it off. Right, let me just keep going. Look, there's a little pheasant down there. Excuse me, Mr. Pheasant, have you seen my exhaust pipe? No, said the pheasant, I haven't. Oh, you know, please let this be an easy find. Please, 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 please don't let me have to spend an hour out here walking around this field trying to find it and then realise it's not here, it's somewhere else. I'm pretty confident it's here because I was driving to this field when it was wobbly. Oh. Right, I'll turn this off. We'll recap when I've driven around a bit further. I have just spotted a squashed exhaust pipe and it looks like I've driven over it. Oh my god. All right, let's get out. Oh, how squashed is it? Hopefully, the ground's soft and it's gone in the ground. Look at that. <laughs> Look. I've left the perfect indentation where the exhaust pipe was. Oh. Look at that. And that is, let me just get up there. I'm not putting that back on today. Let's get up. Look at that. Look at that. That's got to, that's supposed to be round. Oh, it's still quite hot. I um I need to get Ryan back to weld a pipe on there, I think. I'm sure he could do that, and he's probably cutting off. And a new, new diameter pipe put on there. Right. Lucky I didn't lose this completely. If it had been on the road, it dented at the top. Oh, always something in there. Hey, always something. I think what it is, is over the years the metal's got thin and it's got wobbly and it's been knocked several times and it's just. Hey ho! Right, dead bird, broken exhaust pipe. Let's just keep going. Who knows? The randomness of my day, every day. Do you know what? 
This is the thing about farming that I really like in the fact that your day is random. You get, I, I mean, winter is a long old slog. There's no doubt about it. It's kind of like a, very much a lot the same, you know, mucking out, bedding down, feeding, milking. It's a routine. But the sheer randomness of days, like you find a dead bird, you look at it, the exhaust pipe falls off. You don't know what you're dealing with next, you know? And uh, that's what I like about farming. You know, God, lucky to be out in a field like this now on a, when it's not raining and, you know, look at the sky up there, look. Even just like that. Look at that sky. It's awesome, isn't it? I just, you know? And uh, there's no doubt about it. Sometimes in January, I think, oh, I wouldn't mind being in an office. There's no doubt about that. I can't deny that because the weather does get me down, the British weather, but then you kind of look at the other way and think all the poor buggers are sat in an office all the time dealing with a nice day when you've got, you know, you're sat in front of a computer screen. So anyway, hey, I got off. Well, there wasn't the subject I had in a plan, but I just got off the subject of not a subject. Anyway, my back tire looks a bit soft. Someone else pointed that out in a video. It's the weight of that on it, I think. I need to pump that up. Right. Let's crack on. Let's just uh, better climb up there. Let's crack on. We'll see what we do next. I'm not quite sure where we're going with this video today. <laughs> right, more randomness in this video. This is this is turning into one of those days, and I'll tell you about something on the tractor again. I've had another issue, but we'll have a look at something else. So I've been carrying on with the hedge trimming. I've been round this field. Um, it's what we call Pendix. Uh, it's got pylon in it, the field over there. Now this is a field that was quite heavily affected by the drought back in the summer. And uh, you might remember that our fields were pretty trashed with uh, the drought, everything died. We've been feeding silage and stuff in the summer. Well, um, a lot of the grass recovered, but this field hasn't. And I'll show you what it's like now. Look, we've got a problem with it, look. So we've got a lot of, um, We've got a lot of chickweed growing in, but we've got a lot of bare patches of soil. And you can see here the moss. There's a lot, there's a lot of grass that has died. Let me just come here. We're going to go into the worst bit. Um, right, you can see, right, what we've got here now is deceptive, it looks green. But what we've got is, we've actually got bare earth um, with moss on it, chickweed, and this plant, I think it's a plantain or something. And coming through, if that's my sward, the silage or grazing, there's nothing left. Look at that. So what we've got here, I think, is effectively the rocky seam that we had affected by the uh, affected the maze we got it we got it sort of diagonally across this field and if we look across there basically we've got massive areas of sort of the similar sort of thing um, so basically what's happened is a large part of this field has died out I mean look it's chickweed here bare earth here just bare earth look how can I graze that and it's a big area. So, so what I've done, I've had a chat with Andy Sampson who does our contracting and he came out and had a look at this the other day. Um, and we've had a chat and what, what we've done is, um, we're gonna have a plan of, what he's gonna do is he's gonna come in and call stitching where he's gonna drill, drill the areas which are, are poor with uh, grass, new grass seed because if we come out further up here, the grass is actually pretty good. The whole field isn't dead. So it's going to stitch it. And then we're going to also, we're going to spray out the, um, the, uh, what is it, chickweed. And also uh, possibly put a, lo a load of lime on it because it probably needs it. Look, because it, this, this is what it should look like. Look at that. Nothing wrong with that sword there, is it? You know? Um, very luckily, you see the other the other fields have all recovered, but this one, is, it was I, what I should have done is I probably should have put drilled seed in it in the autumn. I I got a bit behind on everything, and and then I came out here, um, dealt with a lot last year really, didn't we? Uh, came out here, 
uh, November and realised it wasn't looking good. But then it was a bit late to put the grass seed down. Should have been put in probably October. Um, so anyway, we, that's that's a little project that's going to be happening. I don't know quite when we're doing this. Bit early for grass seed. Uh, so it's like so that drought had a, a quite a long-term impact on our farm in the fact that we lost milk production last summer obviously affecting our income um, but also we have to buy in all that forage and then there's the ongoing cost of sorting this out here you know because you sort of think the impact of that drought was then but it's carried on through um, let's hope we don't get another drought this summer so um, so that's that right but also oh I've lost my flipping beacon look let me show you I, there's especially a flashing beacon on top of this tractor and there's not anymore look can you see my knobbly bit it's gone let's have a look I just noticed this look flipping wire hanging off that in right so somewhere on this farm is my beacon and I not I'm not sure whether oh, see the trouble is I don't know when that came off I don't know whether that came off in this field I've been out looking in that field I don't know whether it's come off in this field or whether heaven forbid it's come off on the road and it's probably been smashed a million pieces I'm hoping I'm gonna have a drive around now. I'm hoping it's lying on the grass in this field. I think, because I remember, I think, you see the trouble with this top of this hedge trimmer, right? When you flick that up, that tends to catch if you've got it up high. And I think it, I'm pretty sure what happened is the top of that hedge trimmer caught that beacon and whacked it off. Because it's on a rubber kind of linkage thing and it just pops off. I think it's probably a safety thing. It's designed to do it rather than actually smash. It kind of flips up, the bends down a bit or has a bit of give. But I think I've knocked it off. But the thing is, where the hell has it gone? I mean, it's a big thing. I think you've seen the beacons, it's big. Um, so I should be able to spot it on the ground, but I am, oh, flipping heck. So what does that mean? I've got to drive around all the fields that I've been in, seeing if I've left it somewhere. I can't. I thought I would have spotted it pretty quick. Like I said, I don't know when it came off. I only spotted it um, earlier, but it doesn't mean I haven't been off there for flipping two weeks. Ah, do you get these days? So this video, what you're seeing today, <laughs> dead birds start with, broken exhaust, dead grass, broken beaker. Right, what are we going to next? This is this is a completely unscheduled video of kind of I you know I just had the camcorder in the um, tractor to do stuff and I got flipping this going on right let's crack on let's go and find the beacon I'm gonna just drive around and see if I can find the beacon like I did when I tried to find the exhaust oh boy right let's go hunt the beacon let's go hunt the beacon where are you where are you beacon. Hunt the beacon, hunt the beacon, hunt the beacon, where are you? It's bright flipping orange, it should be like, you know, it should be there. I should be able to see it on the ground from about half a mile away. It's a big flipping chunky thing. Where is it? Hunt the beacon, hunt the beacon. Right, I'll just drive around the field and I'll stop either to pick it up or I'll drive and tell you it's not here. Oh, the bare patch there, look. I'm oh, seeing the bear patches as we go around. There we go. I stopped for a bit of cheeky hedge trimming there on the way round. Uh, because I thought, well, I'm driving by a bit of hedge that needs trimming. Let me trim it. You know? But hey ho, I still found, found my beacon. I'm just, I'm just reeling this back in there. Uh, that's what I did wrong. I reeled it back in one concentrate and caught the roof the hedge trimmer on the uh, beacon right so there is absolutely no sign of this flipping beacon i'm just I'm, well, i think i'm guessing where it could be i mean I, I, it's not that many hedges i've trimmed on the farm so i'm doing it half a farm 
I'm gonna have to flip in. Look, I, I've got a suspicion. I'm trying to think back when that thing whacked on the roof. And I think I wonder whether it's in the orchard. It's always when I fold it up like that, you see. It's not when I'm doing the actual head streaming that's a problem, it's when I fold it up. So I'm just thinking, I remember hearing a clank, I think, in the orchard. So uh, I'm gonna have a quick look at back there a minute. I'm just going back now anyway, but uh, look at this. It's, so this is a bit trimmed up here. I've got a bit of rubbish I've got to pick up. We'll just stop and get that before I head off. Stop here, look, you can see it, right. And slow it down. Right. Can't turn it off because it's always too noisy. Look, I can see what I've got to do in the next few months. Look. Gate post or hedge hedge post. Hedge post snapped off there, rotted off. Uh I'll bet that one's the same. Look, I've caught that with the hedge trimmer, not this year, another year. That one's rotted off. I I basically so when I had time when my dad was alive, I used to go out and do a lot of hedge trimming, hedge laying, sorry, hedge laying. In fact, that hedge by the road there, I laid that the year the Berlin Wall came down. I'm not quite sure. What year was that? Was that would that be 87, something like that? I could look up on my phone. You can comment in the comments below, remind me, save me looking it up. So I had a lot of time when dad was around when he was younger because he was he was helping my brother do the milking and stuff and i'd be out here all afternoon i wouldn't go back till five o'clock i used to love it but i don't have the time now but the thing is these hedge posts are actually all all the same age they've all gone they must be all like it look that one's but when i was at the same time as hedge then i was filling in the gaps look and you can see there look can you see a plastic coil on there oh it won't focus Look, that, that is left over, the stick's still on it, the bamboo cane. Of course it's grown up a bit now, and really what he wants doing is leaving to lay again. That ain't gonna happen, ain't got the time. But look at this, someone's balloon, star-shaped. Look, I'll take that home for the bin. I, I love balloons, trust me, I do, I love a balloon, but I wish they, they well, the, do you know what? They, I talk about finding stuff on the farm, right? This is another thing about how the environment's changed and we all talk about saving the planet. I didn't used to find balloons on the farm, but in the last probably five years, the amount of helium balloons I've recovered from hedges has massively gone up. There's some in the hedge down there, they're up 20 foot, excuse me, 20 foot in the hedge and I can't get them out, I've just left them there. But So what's happened there? Have they become more common? or cheaper or something because I didn't I didn't used to find lots of helium balloons what I used to find is the old traditional balloon you know the the, the sort of roundy ones and occasionally they'd have like a little thing on do you remember I found a few years back I found one where a primary school had let um, a load off for, in memory of a teacher uh, and there was a little quite quite emotional thing to find that it was a, a, about a guy who uh, had died it was a, a primary school teacher and he died and it was all about him um, and I send it back to the school um, but don't find those sort of balloons now find all these helium types of things that are right pain I mean the worst case scenario for that I don't think a cow would eat that worst case scenario for that is that gets chopped up and goes in the silage and that ain't great is it because that would go in a cow's stomach could cause all sorts of issues so anyway right could be worse could I have a chopped up beacon if I don't find the flipping thing right let's get back I'm going to have a quick look in the orchard where I hope where I hope I can find it. Look, I've got to fold, fold her up. All right, let's get back. Oh, crack on. Still got my exhaust off as well. So I got no beacon and no exhaust. Right, here we go. Here we go, Luby Lou. Let's go beacon hunting again. Right, let's go and see if I can find that flipping beacon. I'm sure it's in the orchard. Right. I've got my beacon beacon search eyes on now. Do, 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 do. I can't see anything. No sign of any beacon yet. I can see some fruit trees. Oh. And I can see a bit of fencing I need to do. That's not looking good, is it? Look at that. Looks like it's drunk. That's right, that fencing can go. That 
I can save those rails. You know you see me do it before. Save those rails, the, the posts are all rotted off. But that well and truly doesn't need fencing anymore. Right. So I was thinking maybe it's out here. But I can't see it. Right. No sign of any beacon. Oh flipping heck. What am I gonna call this video? You know, you know I gotta title the videos when I put them out. Death, death and destruction at Newhouse Farm. If I was, if I was going to try grab grab viewers, that's what I put to the title of this video. That's a bit over dramatic, really, isn't it? <sighs> dead grass, dead birds, destroyed, exhaust and flipping. Well, who knows if the beacons destroyed? I can't find the flipping thing. All right, there's no sign of it here. No, I'm just going to go up, just cut through here. Cider fruit there, look. I put this barbed wire around them the other last year to stop them stripping. It's cutting in a bit. Look, I'm gonna have to slacken that off. Look how that tree's growing into there. Oh, so that's another job. Right, if there was a beacon, I'd see it, I'm sure. It's not on the floor here, is it? Well, that's why I put the barbed wire on. Because the cow started chomping bits out of the tree but look how quickly it's growing in there look I can't believe it oh right of course uh, it's, they're young trees they're growing fast aren't they of course there will be that happening but right and look there's where the ring feeder was where I was feeding them right take that bit of string out oh, that's not good is it I need a bit of grass seed down on there don't I right so, I'm going to sign off now. I've got to get back to work, bed down the cows now. Uh, right, so, they have no beacon. Hmm, I can get a new one. I'm just wondering whether it's a, I'll hold off a bit. I, I'm going to give the kids five quid reward. If they find my beacon, they get a fiver. Because that'll give them incentive. They walk dog round in fields anyway. I can't, that's a miracle. I can't believe it's, I, there's not that many places it can be, and I don't know where it is. Oh, abducted by aliens. Looks like I said, it's bright orange. I can't believe I haven't found it yet. Right, anyway, crack on. Sorry, sorry about the randomness of this video. I didn't really have a plan when I started it, and I've finished with a, a completely random kind of random day. We like random, don't we? All right, let's get, let's get back to work, crack on. I'll just see little calves here while you're here. I don't really like seeing calves. What have we got here? How are you, Angus? There. Woo, hello. Frisian there. Hello, Frisian. Woo. And another Angus. All obviously born really recently because they're not tagged yet. So they're all about to be tagged. Born very, you've got to tag them really quickly after they're born. Obviously, these are born straight away. So there you go, if you're wondering. Right. Crack on. Well, I didn't give up. This is quick phone footage because I didn't bring my camera cord with me, but I've actually been driving round. I couldn't give up. I thought I got to find that beacon. I've been driving round the fields and I've just spotted it. Let me just show you where it is. Now, if I can work out how to turn this camera around, will it flip over? I don't know. I'll have to stop it and chain flip it. Right, there it is. Uh oh, you don't look in good shape. Uh oh, crap. Oh, that is one dead beacon. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, flipping heck. We've got all the bits. I caught it on that branches up there, I think. Oh. 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 Oh, flipping heck. <laughs> well, it still spins round. 
He's knackered. This is like the parts graveyard, look. Broken beacon and exhaust pipe over there. Oh, what a day, flipping egg. Right. I'll have to, uh, I don't know, I'll have to get a new one of those. I don't know what model, I think it's a serial number on it. There's something on it. Sure, I'm sure someone will know what that is. 10, oh. Right, if I take a photo of that, look. Can you see that? Anyone know what I'm ordering there? Is that focus? I'll have to try and get that, one of those. Oh, gutted. I bet that's bloody expensive as well. By my language, right. Cracked, broken and on. Keep going. 